Congratulations on passing your clinical neurophysiology fellowship and being the brain and nerve electrician, as I tell my grandma. <laughs> so now it is the time for the CNP board exam. So let's talk about the best tools and tips for you to master clinical neurophysiology and pass the CNP board exam. And make sure to stick until the end when I give you the secret tip for you to pass the exam and maximize your time studying. The CNP board exam is a straightforward exam. One of the best quotes about this is from my mentor who said that the exam was designed so that a good EEGer can answer the AMG questions and a good EMGer can answer the EG questions. So that is fair and uh, makes me feel better as an EEG and epilepsy doctor because I have a little allergy to EMG and nerve conduction studies. However, I did pass my board exam because I prepared and studied for, with the right tools. Make sure you are aware of the timing of this exam. This exam has happens every two years, so it's gonna happen in 2021 and 2023 and 25 and so on. And make sure you register on time because the late fees are $500. And this year was way due to COVID but might not happen in the coming few years. <laughs> so tip number one is that what is the best time for you to start studying for the board exam? I highly recommend you start studying when you start your fellowship and use those books as your daily uh, study so that you get prepared throughout your training and not waiting for the last week just before the exam happens. My fellowship training gave me those books when I started so that the expectation of me to study throughout my training. And tip number two, make sure you study the subject that you're not good at. For example, if you are like an EG tract, a clinical neurophysiology fellow, make sure you study the EMG chapters more in depth because you will not learn it on the job when you do the, the practice. And the second thing for all of you, you should study very well the physics and um, electrical backgrounds because they love to ask about those transistors and capacitors and all of those um, um, filter settings that are really important in, for the exam. And please let me know down in the comments when did you start studying for the exam and what are the best tools that you use to prepare yourself for the CNP board exam? And tip number three is the studying books. So I will give you the best two books to prepare yourself for the exam. The first book is this book, The Focus on Clinical Neurophysiology Exam by Dr. Nabil Azar. So this book is focused book. So it is very cost effective in terms of size. It is a relatively a small book that is easy to follow. It follows the uh, question and answer uh, method, which is really engaging and uh, easy to follow through. This book also has an online subscription, which is a really helpful tool for me. I found because you don't want to be carrying the book all over and you can study anytime, anywhere by just logging in and, and uh, doing some questions here and there. So this book has a little bit of few typos here and there that you will be able to spot them easily, so don't worry about that. And at the end, this book is very uh, effective in uh, getting the materials in a short time. So if you are short on time or you want a, a book that is relevant and to the point, this book is for you. And for your convenience, I put all the books that I talked about and the resources down in the description. So make sure to check those links if you want to uh, have more information about those books. And the second great book is the Clinical Neurophysiology Board Review Question and Answer by Dr. Pradeep Modur and his colleagues. And this book is more comprehensive. It's a bigger size book and it has um, lots of pictures and illustrations which are really makes your study um, very engaging and uh, informative. It follows the question and answer uh, method which is really informative and helpful. And it did not have um, online subscription in the earlier edition in 2017. However, they just released a new edition in 2020 and that does have an online subscription. So that's a great uh, addition. I use this book to dive deeper in EMG and nerve conduction studies because that was not my uh, focus of my fellowship training. So you have those two books and you can pick the book that uh, fits you best or like I did, I combined those two and got the best aspects and chapters of each of those two books. And of course, there are so many other courses and hospital based or online subscription courses that do reviews, but those are the most focused and uh, best tools for you to follow. And the secret tip, the secret tip is your phone, you should lock it, 
break it, unplug it, sell it on eBay, do something with it because the phone is a major distraction when we are studying for a board exam and trying to focus. You should follow the 10 and 50 uh, minute rules. So this rule is that you study for 50 minutes and then you take a break for 10 minutes and the break should be exercise, eating, uh, stretching and not like uh, checking your WhatsApp or Facebook or uh, Twitter accounts because that will take 10 hours, not 10 minutes. And it was found that the brain has a very hard time focusing again after each distraction. It takes 15 minutes um, to get back to the same concentration levels when you get distracted by even one notification or one look to your phone. So make sure that you get away from the phone at least during the study period. And to learn about other board uh, preparation and best tools for neurology and exclusive interviews with the uh, book authors, please see those videos and see you in the next one.